Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa Allah, Koholoyimla, Yahoo, Bahasim Yawashai, Bahasim, Rakaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Jahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit going to be a quick one um i was watching this on rudder's news and i pulled it up on youtube and i'm just going to play a clip of it or whatever i think the video is probably about two minutes but it goes off into um japan's aging society where they're selling more adult diapers than they are baby diapers and some of the companies are even actually talking about stop selling baby diapers altogether and just adult diapers because people are over there are just not having no babies and, and the population is a lot older then, you know, they I think, you know, they have a lot more older people than younger people. And the women there, of course, they don't want to have children. And it, and really what that is, is that's drinking that that wine of Babylon. Good old America. All these countries, these allies of America, they all have a birth rate problem. So let's play this video real quick population and declining birth rate as a crisis but there's one industry that is coming out on top because of it adult diapers more companies in japan are switching focus from babies to adults Adult and baby diapers are different, not just in size. Grown-ups are pickier about fit and comfort. Diaper brand Dio Paper says annual sales have doubled since it changed its marketing strategy. Okay, so of course they're speaking in their language. They have the subtitles at the bottom. Pretty uh, small letters or whatever. But the point of it is, is, is uh, you, you know, hey, they, they done flipped it. <laughs> they, they like, hey, we got more aging people than we actually have um, children being born. You know, so, and then I was, you know, I wanted to see if this was the same video that it went on further to even talk about, you know, um, women over there. You know what I'm saying? They, they just like, no, we don't want to have no children. We're going to freeze our eggs. We're going to go and have our career. We're going to do what we're going to do. And then we'll come back later on, you know what I'm saying, in, in life or whatever, whatever. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, grab off those frozen eggs. So this is all because they're following in behind Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Babel, man. Babylon the Great. Because, you know, of course, Japan is was conquered by the these Americans, man. You know, when them bombs hit the asses. You know, you even got a, um, it's a, it's a, uh, even South Korea, they got a, 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 um, birth rate problem. All these countries though, pretty much uh, most of these European countries or so-called white people countries, they have, um, problems with, you know, um, births, man. Now here in the Americas, the only people that's having, um, children in America is so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and a few of these other, um, nations, you know what I'm saying? But mainly it's so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And a lot of these these children are really coming out of mistakes, so to speak, what they'll call a mistake. There's nothing planned about it. You know, it's kind of, you know, here in the Americas, you can just go out on a weekend and just get drunk high, you know, get impregnated by whoever the fuck, don't know who it is. And some people had those babies, you know. So it's, a, it's really just a careless thing here in the Americas, you know, the reason why a lot of people have children. You know, white people, are, the, the so-called white people that do have children, they're a little more coordinated with it. The ones with, you know, with careers, rather. Because there's a lot of so-called white people out here, too. You know, like the trailer trash or the trailer park ones. They just out here, you know, you know, pretty much just having sex with whatever and whoever, too. 
<laughs> you know, but, you know, the career ones, you know, kind of like in the six figure area, you know, they go and do the career. But that's mostly what these people are doing in these countries. So it's then got to a point where, you know, men are not really approaching women like that no more. The dating life is not what it used to be. Nobody's courting like how they used to, you know, so the, the whole thing has changed up. But let me just um, let's get let's get what the Lord said. But see, when it comes to the Israelites. The Lord told um, Abraham that his seed would be like the sand of the sea. Let me see. Genesis 22 and 17, it says that in blessing, I will bless thee and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand, which is upon the seashores and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. And there's plenty of scriptures where the Lord said that he was going to, you know, um, multiply um, um, Israel, man. So the Israelites are still having children. It's just that, you know, pretty much overall, you know, we're just in a bad situation. You know, as far as being in um, captivity to these people still, but hey, the Lord is still bringing forth those spirits through um, Israel, man. And 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 a lot of these, you know, a lot of um of the Lord has pretty much shut up the womb of 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 Esau, man. The Edomite women and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Because they're being outnumbered, they're dying off quicker than they're being born, and it's a lot of these nations that got real problems with births, man. So what did the Lord say? Because Esau. This motherfucker, man, he'll, he'll set up a, a Planned Parenthood on, on your corner like it's nothing. So our, our women, they do abort a lot of our children, you know. And Esau, that's one of his, his schemes. That's one of his plans to pretty much hold us back while he tries to catch up. You see, when they got rid of Roe versus Wade, that wasn't about um, for so-called black women, so-called so Hispanic or Native American women. That was because they really down low, they wanted the so-called white woman to stop going and having abortions because they have abortions too. And like, hey, look, we dying off quicker than we being born. We need all the babies. Everybody get on deck. This is Genesis 1 and 22. And Yahweh blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the, wa the waters and the seas and let the fowls multiply on the earth. So this man, he's out here talking about depopulation. But the Lord said to populate. Because the earth is huge, man. Esau, the so-called white man, just got everybody all packed into these small-ass cities, man. But the earth is huge. Because you can't get on the highway. And say, for instance, you've you done a drive from, from, damn, New York to Texas. You know how much uh, 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 vegetation you're going to pass, man? You can be on the highway for hours, man. It won't see nothing but trees. Won't see nothing but terrain. And then all of a sudden, you'll see one of this guy's caveman cities and shit. You roll into one of his caveman cities, you gas up, you get some food, you might stay at a hotel, and then you back on the road again, seeing nothing but trees, seeing nothing but landscape. But he'll tell you that the world is overpopulated and there's nowhere for the people. And that's crazy. But that's the way that this man gets down. And I just wanted to do something quick on that. I just kind of seen, you know, I seen that. And I'm like, God damn, they making... They, they, they selling more adult diapers than they are baby diapers. Like, what the fuck is... Man, I couldn't believe it. So I had to go to it. So it's a lock here. Let's, let's see. Uh, let's play the rest of this. Let's see what they're saying. Research data shows Japan's diaper market for adults is set to grow 16% by 2027. And 29% of people in Japan were over the age of 65 in 2023. The number of babies born in Japan fell for an eighth straight year to a record low. Government data showed in June. That's pretty much it on that. And then also, like I said, again, I've seen this lady... She's into, um, I don't know, something, something that, that has to do with Olympics. She's, um, you know, Japanese, too. And she was basically like how she was just going to, matter of fact, let's see, we can just probably put in. Um, she's just like, hey, I'm going to freeze my eggs and I'm going to go after my, my dream. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go after my dream and then I'll come back. Just going to put in. Let me see. Maybe something to pop up. I'm probably putting this in all. I just put in Japan. Women don't want to have babies. Yep. 
that one's a little long. That's a 13 minute, 31 second one right there. Uh, let's check out this short right here. The Japanese government is sounding the alarm. Japanese women refuse to give birth. In 2022, Japan's population decreased by 708,000 people. These include record low birth rates and an aging population. Why is this happening? Primarily affected by the cost of living. They're just crazy. Tokyo and Osaka are among the 20 most... Now this is really because of Esau. This is really because they're following in after the pattern of the so-called white man. You know, with that, you know, women going out having careers... You know, um, the household is not what it used to be. You know, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he has, he has promoted this type of lifestyle, man. You know, where the, the women are pretty much um, have compassed the man. You know, and that, that's a scripture as well. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. When it talks about the Lord, so he'll do a new thing in the earth. What is that? Uh, I might be wrong on this one. Let me see. I have to type it in. Let me see. Uh, where is it at? Where it talks about a woman shall compass a man, but but that's a, that's a role reversal, and that's pretty much is chaos. You know, it's chaotic. It, it, it doesn't produce anything. Yeah, Jeremiah thirty one and twenty two. It says, "How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man." And that's pretty much mainly with the Israelites, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because our women are really over us. But it, can, it it's branching off onto these other nations. These other nations are catching, um, um, you know, the hiccup of that curse. Because now their women have are starting to compass them. See, there was no, you know, there was a time period where you never heard of a, a, a so-called white man. Uh, he's a baby daddy. Don't get me wrong, you had divorces and stuff like that amongst them, stuff like that, but really, the baby daddy era, or the baby daddy term, was termed and coined with the so-called blacks, so um, and Hispanics and Native Americans, and now all of a sudden, that those things are trickling down on all the other races, you know, especially if they live in America, generally, you know, a lot of those, you know, like um, your, your uh, Arabs, or your so-called Chinese, Japanese, you know, generally, those people, they stick together, they'll stay together, family wise you know what i'm saying but here in these americas a lot of those women man they like fuck that you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm out i'm gonna divorce your ass <laughs> you know and you'll hear about some of them getting lured back into their countries and and you know they got what they call honor killings and things of that nature when it comes to ishmael you know them arabs and stuff like that but overall i mean this is pretty much what's going on esau has set it up and, and they and they fell for the trap that's all they're just crazy. Tokyo and Osaka are among the 20 most expensive cities in the world. And the allowance for the birth of a child in the realities of Japan is very small. The country is experiencing an increase in the number of single people, which may reduce motivation to start a family. Patriarchy here is still quite developed, and many Japanese women do not want to do housework and look after their children. Write in the comments what you think about this. Don't, don't, don't that sound American? They was never like that before price of houses going up that that's all some some you know some some american capitalism type shit you know they don't want to cook it clean wait what do what, don't that sound familiar <laughs> that's some american shit man let's see uh what else oh they got one right here it said japanese women want want black men and they that's going off into um those children will be israelites let's see what they look like Word on the street is Japan is calling on black men to reproduce with Japanese women with a $75,000 per baby incentive. And I have so many questions to ask about this. Before I get to asking my questions, I'm going to start. Off I don't know about that. I mean, but hey. Yeah, a lot of a lot of women of the other nations, man, they want the so-called black man. Because they're just easier to deal with. A lot of so-called black men, they're dealing with them because they're easier to deal with than the so-called black woman. It just is what it is. And that's because of those curses that women can pass in a man deal. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch on this. Um, now, I should have just put in, uh, let's put in um, South Korea. This is another um, 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 American ally. See? I didn't even have to put it all in. It says, uh, 
South Korea uh, uh, said South Korea doomed to extinction. That was a year ago on that video. Let's see if they got some shorts on that. Okay, this person. Uh, let's see what this short says. Appears to be a damn Edomite, but she may Why aren't South Koreans having babies? South Korea's broken its own record for the world's lowest fertility rate, and the country is worried. The average South Korean woman now has 0.81 children in her lifetime. The country already has more deaths than births. At this rate, South Korea's population could be cut in half by the end of the century. And the government's scared there won't be enough people to grow the economy, look after the elderly, or join the army. So why is it happening? Money is a big factor. Raising children in South Korea is expensive. Some experts say women are also focusing on their careers rather than starting a family. The government That's mainly what it is. Focusing on them careers, man. That's mainly what it is. I mean, that's another country, another ally of America. Um let me put in uh I'm just going to put in countries with low birth rates. And it's all about the spirit and power of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai too. This is the Lord breaking these people down. Yep, you got South Korea. Um, okay, yep, here's the list of countries right here. They got Japan. It's looking like Japan is number one. They got Austria, Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, Greece, Hungary, Belarus, Andorra. Romania, uh, Herzegovina, never heard of that before, Italy, Slovakia, Russia, Bulgaria, Lat Latvia, Slovenia, Spain, Czech, and Ukraine, the countries with the lowest birth rates in the world, and all of them, all of them, who, who are they dealing with? The so-called white man. And that was, I think this was 2000 and, no, it was a year ago for this video. This right here is saying uh, the depopulation bomb. And you just never know what he will, hey Esau man, hey look. If the Lord want a spirit to come into the world, he can't stop it anyway, but. Esau man, he, you know, the food is horrible, the water is horrible, it's so many things that, that goes into having a healthy sperm cell and healthy it, I mean you know it, it, it just, it's just not a healthy place man and then we're eating the bread the fowl of the Gentiles so here you go you got this person are there too many people on earth for too few okay and there's a lot of these um, these it says US fertility rate drops to the lowest in 100 years and it has you don't see a lot of people running around with no kids like that, really like that. No, it's not what it used to be. Because like I said, if the so-called black woman, pretty much overall, she, she, she'll have an abortion in a goddamn jiffy on your ass. So-called white woman, she will too. <laughs> but I mean, overall, I think the only people really here in the Americas, that, or I think the top people that's having kids in America is the so-called Hispanics. Latinos, you know what I'm saying, but definitely the Israelites are outpacing the um the the uh, Edomites on a grand scale, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this. I just seen that, and I'm like, damn, you selling more adult diapers than you are baby diapers? Like, what? Kind of, <laughs> hey, that's that's crazy as hell, bro. But anyway, though, I, you, you know, hey, we're we're in the last days, man. And pretty much, you know, me speaking as a man. It's billions of spirits here, and it, 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 the the amount of spirits here is just it, it just is it just might be the ripening of of the Lord's coming, man. You know, just might be the ripening of the Lord's coming, man. So so all the spirits are here, pretty much overall to get judgment, and probably you know a lot of them here to get that judgment, man. That's coming, man. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.